All right, welcome now to the Checker Flag with Ralph Shaheen and Ricky Carmichael from here in San Diego. We'll begin our recap with the 250 West Championship. A great battle in here, Ricky, and everybody was talking about, I want to be the points leader leaving here in that red plate. But that six-week break, and Dylan Francis is the guy. Yeah, he did exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to be in the points lead before this six-week break, and he also wanted to add on his points lead before going to the last four rounds of this championship. Perfect ex execution. He really, I think, how he raced tonight in the main event, that was planned. He didn't want to leave a lot of time left for Austin Forgner to retaliate and uh, make a counter move, and uh, he did just that. So now the 250 West takes that six-week break. 250 East starts next week in Tampa. You'll see that on NBCSN next weekend. Let's move on to the 450s. And here we got a great title fight going on, and a lot of people were focused on Roxon and Tomac, but the story was wet. Oh, it sure was, and uh, it was looking pretty good for the first quarter of a lap in his heat race. He was right where he needed to be, and he fell down. The rut actually kind of caved in. There was nothing he could do. His front wheel went over it. He fell down like, oh, man, he's going to have a horrible pick. But somebody gave him a gift of a lifetime. They didn't take the seventh gate from the inside, and he took it, and did he take advantage of that? He had to do what he had to do, and that's what champions do. He got that gift and he made the best of it. He came out with a win. He's only nine points out of the championship lead right now. He's catching stride when it counts. Yeah, and California's now in the rearview mirror as we head east to Florida, the Sunshine State, his home state. We'll be there next week. Join us on NBCSN.